Welcome to Insight by Tash. And so, we are talking about peppers today, hot peppers, cayenne, black pepper, white pepper, chili pepper. I'm going to tell you what they're used for, the properties, and all of that good stuff. So, peppers are basically used to bring heat into your spells. A lot of time with me, I will use peppers to not just burn off negative energy, banish, repel, but I also use it for cleansing. But a lot of people don't know, you can use peppers to attract. You can use peppers to give you strength. You can use peppers to do a number of different things. So I'm going to tell you the different ways you can use all these peppers in your spell work. So the main one that most of us I think we'll be using will be black pepper. And black pepper is great for banishing. You can use the regular um, ground black pepper, or you can use the black peppercorns like you see here. Okay. And the black peppers, if you're going to use the black peppercorns, let's say you're doing a, a spell to break somebody up. Okay, you'll pick which ones you want to use depending on the spell. So if you're just trying to banish, remove negative energy, um, cleanse uh, gossip or cleanse evil eye, then I will just grab the black pepper, grounded black pepper and sprinkle that around my home or sprinkle that around the candle or of course put that in the mix that's going to go on to my candle, Okay. Very simple, very straight to the point. Now, if let's say you're breaking somebody up or breaking a bad habit or breaking a curse, you can use these black peppercorns. And what you do when you're using things like whole corns and whole anything is if you're trying to break a certain pattern or break a break up a couple or something to that nature, you can break these black peppercorns and that will help layer in that extra magic of breaking things, banishing things, removing things and things to that nature. So black pepper is awesome for that. Black pepper is also awesome for speeding up your spells. So if you need to add an amplifier to your spells, you can use black pepper or white pepper to do that. You can use actually any of these peppers to do to amplify your spells, but a normal go-to will be black pepper, white pepper, cayenne to help empower, and chili powder can help boost your spells as well. Now, speaking of white pepper, I love white pepper because white pepper is good for conjuring strength in you, conjuring courage in you, conjuring it's, it's it's like a boost for you on top of the extra energy it gives and the cleansing factors and the repelling factors but it also gives you that extra boost that extra energy that extra oomph to succeed in whatever it is you're trying to succeed in so i would suggest the white pepper is something that you really keep in your apothecary just in case you want to do some type of spell that gives you that extra strength or courage let's say you're going to speak in front of somebody or you um, a group of people or you want to speak clearly to a specific person about love or something that's a matter of the heart and you want to really be able to be calm but still be passionate you want to add some white pepper to that spell <clears throat> another pep another heating element that you can use that's very popular is cayenne Cayenne is awesome for repelling, cleansing, banishing, and also return to sender, okay? You can do hexes with cayenne. I love it because if somebody sends something your way, you can send them, you, this is like the, the, the beginning stages of sending that shit right back to them. So any type of energy, if it's evil eye, anything, you can just, the cayenne is like the catalyst to, repelling that and sending that back to the person be mindful don't inhale this too much it is powerful it will burn a yard out of your nostrils and all of that craziness it's really 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 spicy chili powder chili powder is a great amplifier as well cayenne can amplify your spells also and again and, but chili powder is great for manifesting wealth chili powder is great for assisting with honestly anything you want to assist with it is 
let's see. It's it's just a great amplifier. It it brings fire, it brings heat, but it also brings control. It also brings domination into the spell. So let's say you're burning off certain energy that's around you, but you still want to have a sense of control in the situation. Like you're removing negative energy from your home, but you still want to be able to bring in positive energy. You can use chili powder instead of like a of really hot, hot pepper to burn off everything. You know what I mean? So chili powder is wonderful for just getting rid of negative energy and all of that jazz. Another herb that you can use is red pepper flakes. I love my red pepper flakes. Y'all know I put them in, in all of my dark work. And this is, again, speed up, but this is hotter than the cayenne. So if I'm doing a blockbuster, I can do the cayenne and the black pepper, those type of things. But for me, I like to take it to another level because I had tend to have, you know, I, I, I had a lot of people around me. I deal with a lot. You know, I have clients and, and a lot of times when you're doing those readings, you're picking up a lot of your clients' energy when you're going into their energy. So I would add the red pepper flakes to add that extra layer and extra level of heat that will come into the spell that will then not only burn off whatever is trying to harm you or whatever somebody's trying to send your way, it'll burn it off on the way to you. But then it'll also send it back to them with the red pepper flakes as well. And it will, you can amplify the red pepper flakes to send it back as harsh as you want it to be. So that's why I love the red pepper flakes. Those are as you can see, I you you y'all know I use them. If y'all have seen me do spell work, any type of banishing or cleansing, y'all have seen me add red pepper flakes to it. Now, my red peppers are on a whole nother level of fuck shit. I pull these out when I am doing dark work. Okay, so what you want to do is make sure that you keep these on hand if ever you want to hex somebody, send any dark work to anybody. If anybody comes for you, just have yourself a nice little amount of those and you can get hotter and hotter as you want. I love having these because they really, they're really very, very hot, honestly. I, I mean, when I open up the container, I'll be about to choke and all that, so it's, it's real serious. So guys, these are the peppers that you can use in your spell work. I want you guys to have, if you're in on my Patreon, you need to go to Dollar Tree and get one of these of all of them, okay? You want black pepper, you want chili powder, you want cayenne, you want red pepper flakes. You don't have to get the white pepper unless you're doing some type of work with crown. Of, you can just have a crown of success oil. You don't necessarily need the white pepper, but it's good to have on hand. And you don't need the red peppers, the whole red peppers, unless you're going to do dark work. And you can find these in the grocery store, okay? All right, my love. Thank y'all for um taking the time out to watch this video, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, my loves.